All right, so like all my projects, I always start with the back end first. I'm gonna get the tires on this. Now the reason why I always start with the back end because it gets the trike up off the ground and it's easier to sit down on like a little stool and work on it. These tires go on a certain way. So you can see this tire is the left one. The left tire is always the one with the two bearings. See, there's two bearings. This, this is the floater wheel. This wheel has no power transmitted to it. This one's the right wheel. You can see a little tag back there. This wheel has a funny shaped looking uh, hub. Now this hub is supposed to attach to the axle on the right side, which is this side here. Now my previous trike, it was the same thing. It, there, these trikes are only powered by one wheel, not two wheels. There's no differential on this axle. It's one solid axle. So only power is only going to one wheel only. On my previous trike, there was a special looking hub thing right here on the axle. And it was the same thing though. Your trike may have that hub, but it's the same thing. You just this funny shape goes into uh, the hub on the axle. So the hub on the, <clears throat> the hub on the wheel plugs into the hub on the axle. This case uh, doesn't look like that. It just slides right on. So don't freak out if you see yours with a special looking hub thing there. All right. So I'm doing another trike build. I have no idea what brand of trike this was. I forgot what it was, but it kind of doesn't matter because it's the same model as the trike that I did before. I got this trike from walmart.com. You can also get it from Amazon. Even Home Depot has it. Don't forget the spacer. Each wheel has a spacer. So I'm gonna assemble this trike and I plan on putting a motor on it. Now I know I've done a motorized trike before, my yellow one, but I feel like there's just some room for improvement on it, especially since I lost the basket because I really wanted to keep the basket. With this build, I'm going to try to implement some rules. A, I have to keep the basket. B, all the stuff that I do, well, I don't want to modify the frame. So everything that I do, it has to be made as like a bracket. I want everything to be bolt on. Now this stud uh, just, uh, it's just for packaging. Um, you're not gonna use this for the trike build. Just like how they had this on the front end so stuff doesn't bend it. But you can go ahead and throw this away. I'm, I might hold on to the stud because this actually looks useful for something else. Speaking about bending and chipping. So that's the things that you gotta watch out for too. Uh, like these little thin tabs. They can bend. Expect to have bends and dents and stuff. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some dents right here too. Oh, by the way, I used a uh, 12 millimeter wrench to get that stud off. Yeah, there's a stud on this frame too. There really is no motorized kit for a trike, so this is why I'm doing this. I wanna see if I can make something like a kit for a trike. Okay, so you might run into this issue here that I'm having. The back frame piece is supposed to slide inside uh, the frame of the bike. The frame of the bike does not slide in here because if you notice these bolts, there's a square cutout. There's a square shank on this bolt here that fits in the square cutout. And so the bike cannot go in here. It has to go on the outside. The problem is these need to be bent inside because it won't slide in. So what you're gonna have to do is grab a C-clamp or a clamp of some kind. And I'm gonna try and bend it in far enough so I can slip the frame in here. But I gotta make sure not to get in the way. Okay, so I had to use clamps because that, uh, Oh, those two flanges were kind of outwards. So you might run into that problem. Use clamps. And this is meant so uh, you can slide it forward and back. See, this is slotted out here. And you're thinking, well, this ain't slotted. But the other side, this frame piece is slotted. See? Right here, it's slotted. So you can slide this thing back and forward a little bit. And that's how you ch tension up the chain. 
but this is a seven speed so it has a derailleur so I don't need to slide it back and forth to tension it the derailleur will do that oh by the way I put the bolts in like this so that way I don't got anything sticking out on this end it might be a little difficult with this in the way but just pull it forward so that way you can get it into the slot here and then once it's in the slot you can push it back like I said the, the problem may not be on your trike you may or may not have that problem but yeah these two pieces were bent out so I had to clamp them in Okay, so all the major frame pieces are on. Uh, I just started at the back end, then the seat, the handlebar. The forks were already on the main frame, so I didn't have to mess with the forks. Now I can work on the small stuff like the hookups, the brakes, the chain, the basket, and the fenders. All of that that I just said, you, can, you don't have to do it in order. You can work on either one, whichever one you want. Except I lied for one thing. Um, you're gonna have to put the chain on first before you could do the chain guard. If you put the chain guard on, you're not gonna be able to wrap it around that. Well, I guess you could, but it's just gonna be extremely difficult. So, get the chain on first before you do the chain guard. So when you're putting on the pedals, don't forget, they are labeled. The right one goes on the right side, that green left goes on the left side. I'm also gonna use a tool that they gave me. Well, no, I don't, I don't want them to use it, get it. Now, I don't have to use a tool that they gave me because this is thick enough where I can put just a normal wrench in. But on some pedals, this, this area might not be that thick and you need something thin like this to get it in. Just noticed something that this sprocket's really bent. There's still a little slight bend in it, but it should, should still be functional now. These things came in handy. So I got the fenders on, kinda. I'm gonna go in and bolt those down and, and I'm gonna bolt these down too. Now the reason why I didn't put the fenders on first before the wheels is because of this bar here. Um, I can't put the fender on and then get the wheel on because the wheel slips over the axle here and this bar is in the way. So you have to do the fen you have to do the fender last. If you have the other fender set up where you have the three tabs that come up here. Uh, you can put that on first before the wheel, but this setup you can't. Now I know um, You guys are probably yelling at me to take the damn fenders off if I'm gonna motorize it I will Just for right now before I get the motor I'm just gonna leave the fenders on when I get the motor I'll take them off, but right now they look it looks pretty sweet like that bicycle fenders pose a risk when you put a motor on it because the engines gonna vibrate the frame and that's gonna happen. I don't think the back ones are gonna do that because of that support, but there's a lip under here, under here, and there's bolts in here, especially on that, because there's a bunch of bolts to hold that, uh, to hold those reflectors up. And any of one of those things can get snagged on the tire. It's gonna shear your fender, destroy your tire, and probably worse. So it's not a good idea to have these fenders on, because like I said, and they can get snagged on your wheel.
Okay, it kind of looks a little weird, but it goes on like this because this whole thing pivots like that. That was kind of tripping me out because it's there's a spring in here. Well, this is on spring too, but it pivots like that. Because I wasn't understanding why it wasn't going on straight, but I guess it's supposed to do that. The previous derailer that I had didn't do that. It just went on, uh, went on straight sideways. Okay, I made a dumb mistake. What I should have done is got the derailleur on, the chain, and then the chain guard, then the foot pedal. This cannot fit over that foot pedal. I'm gonna have to take that pedal off to get this guard on. Okay, there you have it. Everything's all put together and tied down. I really actually, actually really like this fabric that they uh, gave me. Some trikes don't come with that fabric, it's just a basket, but I lucked out and I got that. Right, and these are the things that I didn't use. I have a bell. These are reflectors that go on the wheel. Honestly, I have no idea how these go in. I already used one of these. These are for your cables, you crimp them on the end. This was a tool they gave me. This was a chain remover that they gave me. And I lucked out again and I, I lucked out again and they gave me a uh, bicycle lock. So that's cool. This was a hardware that I didn't use. I think it's just extra. These are the studs. This was, I have no idea. This is a Chinese made trike, but they gave me a German flag sticker. These are the tools that I used. Uh, I got a 17, 15, 14, 13, 10. I got a quarter inch. No, that's a nine, my bad. That's a nine. This is a quarter inch and that's because uh, on some of the, I think some of the hardware, you have to use a Phillips screwdriver and I, it was too tight and I had a, I just used it to uh, tighten down some hardware. Then a 10 millimeter socket, a nine, a chain breaker, you can use the one in the kit. I just, I just used mine and some sort of ratcheting tool. This came in the kit as well. Didn't really use it, but it's nice to have. Oh, by the way, that's the engine that I'm going to be using. It's a 98cc engine. That's a little bit bigger than the one I had before. But other than that, this thing's put together and I'll eventually get this out and test ride it. Let me know if you're confused, if you got any questions, you can leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I know I'm, I'm a pretty bad explainer. Like I said, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get to them. I'll see you in the next one.